All right, sounds good to me. All right, do a countdown backwards from 10 and I'll bring us in, I guess. 10, nine. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, kings, queens, mighty knights and mages, how is everyone doing tonight? My name is Manny or Sunny, resurrected from the dead, here with the Prophecy Cup, and I have a treat for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Boost Saders versus Guardians of the Rift, Season 6, Week 7, let's get it poppin'. Joining me tonight is none other than Travis Crankster himself, aka T-Crank. Yo how is it going, my dude? It's going good, Manny. I miss you, brother. <sighs> Miss you too, brother, man. You're those... back from the jungle, brother. Yeah, fighting out there in those rough, tough Central American jungles. Learned a lot. Got to do some fun stuff, but none of it is as fun as casting for the Prophecy Cup. I missed two whole seasons worth of championships, but now here I am, back to hear all these, uh, or get to cast all these high-quality games. Um, yes, sir. A lot, of, a lot of shuffled around, but I still do recognize some faces, uh, Fug Nuggler, Nova Typhoon, still toxic as always. That to BUST. <laughs> Everyone just babs. Like, these are all familiar names and faces. Out to really bust. <laughs> PP Poro. See, see everybody with their uh, reshuffled teams and how they do with their new, uh, some new faces as well. Yeah, and speaking of shuffled teams, Guardians of the Rift are the most shuffled team I've ever seen <laughs> that have managed to actually survive the entire season so far. <laughs> I, I'm, like every single player has swapped at least twice, except for Spectacular, their AD carry, uh, also known as Yang Su. Has the, he lived uh, up to his name and been Spectacular? Yeah, he's. I mean, he's doing his job well for uh, his role. I mean, he's the lowest rated AD carry, so I think he's doing a good job. Uh, he almost, they almost beat Yeehaw Five. They almost took two games off him with uh, his his renowned misfortune pick. And, Ooh, uh, the misfortune. Yeah, so this is uh Ninth versus tenth place, but I think both of these teams are actually pretty good, and they have a lot of good players. So they're uh, both they, they're both at four game wins despite having very few uh, series wins, which means they're actually like putting up a good fight in their series. So if they're both at four games, I'm seeing at ninth and tenth place. What? And you feel they have good players, and I agree, because I've seen a lot of these players play, and while I was gone in the jungles, I got to watch a couple of these teams play. I don't necessarily feel... I don't, I don't necessarily feel it's a player issue. I don't even necessarily feel it's like the generic, they'll be like, it's a communicate, it's a, uh, it's a co cohesion issue. Like, I feel more so... You feel it just because on the side of Guardians of the Rift, they swap around so freaking much, they can't actually, you know, get a solid team comp, or like a solid assignment of everybody's roll down is the main thing holding them back? Yeah. Uh, I think it's just they keep making mistakes that cost them the game, even though they actually get ahead early and pose a good fight. They just uh, mess up somewhere, and they just uh, lose a fight and then lose Baron, and then they just like lose the game relatively fast from there. But otherwise, they have a pretty good team overall. But there is an emergency sub for the Boosaders. The mid laners having client issues. So they got Purple mm. God coming in. No, nothing about this fellow. But uh, their support's also a sub, I believe. Subburn is a vibe. F.A., the legend. Using my uh, using my high-speed stats tool that I keep side-by-side -side with the whole League of Legends player database, looking at our guy Purple God, his uh, most played champion is, in fact, a purple champion by the name of Cassidy. Oh. Has 114 games played on him, lost his last game. Which, you know, it's okay. We can bounce back from that. We can still do good. <laughs> but even besides that, he, uh... Okay, so I'm looking at this. And this actually... I've seen this a couple games. I saw some Koreans do this. I even played against it the other day. A Fleet Footwork Cassidy. Yeah, I think Fleet so, Footwork is actually the, uh... It is the... Most optimal keystone for Cassidy now. Just because... you, you uh, They made Fleet Footwork a lot better for AP champions... As well as uh, he's sort of an he's a melee, so he gets a lot of extra health back from auto attacking minions, getting those procs, and just lane sustain too. So it's a good fit for him. You don't really need the comet or the airy. Mm -hmm. 
Plus, I also just feel with, you know, the role Kassin plays in team fights, any sort of way to help boost his movement speed is definitely a good idea, considering, like you mentioned, he's a melee range champion whose job is to kind of jump in, blow up your AD carry, and sometimes these pesky AD carries like to try and run away. So I feel like having that extra little movement speed to keep chasing them down, and even get yourself a little heal while going through the fight with that auto attack can make the difference for him in some of the uh, uh, skirmishes or some of these pickoffs he goes for. Yeah, his goal is to hit level 16, and once you hit that, you're just incredibly powerful, and then... Your your uh, fleet footwork will actually heal you for quite a bit because your AP. So they increase the ratio. To, it's like 0.4 AP ratio on the fleet Ooh. footwork. So it's pretty good healing. That's why. Uh, it's yeah, it's why you go it on like AP Kaisa a lot, just because once you get those three items, uh, you heal so much. Yeah, just waiting for both teams to get ready. They swapped sides because, uh, actually not sure why, but oh well. None of my business. <laughs> XD. And we should be getting into champ select relatively shortly. It's going to be oh, blue saders on, I was muted. Blue saders on blue side and Guardians of the Rift on red side to start game one. Getting everybody into this lobby here should be getting us situated and hopefully into this champion select. The Boosaders are on the Boosaders on the left. What do you feel are going to be the priority picks for them going into this draft? Considering they're uh, playing against, you know, a team that shuffles around their roster a lot and they honestly don't have too much to go off of. This can, besides, you know, OP.GG, it feels like at this point. Yeah, it feels like the success of the Riddle Raiders has entirely to do with Nova Typhoon's champions and. Uh, Zach and Hecarim are his two best champs by far, so if he doesn't get one of those, it's not doesn't look too good for them. So they're looking to get him on one of the strong jungle picks where he can take over the game. And otherwise, Aatrox or Ergot are still have pretty high priority picks. Spectacular likes to play Lucian a lot, which is like a really good marksman. Oh, they're uh, going to... They do realize they can click no ban and not make us wait 30 seconds, right? Uh, wait, really? I'm almost positive no ban is an option still. It is in, uh... I'm not sure if it is in, uh, custom mode. That would be kind of oh, cool, though. So we don't have to wait forever, but yep, there's the Anivia gonna be taken away from, uh... Most likely looking like purple guys, so they did their little bit of research to knock that off the table. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, purple guy is their lowest, is the lowest elo player right now. Pretty sure he's like silver or something as an e sub, so he's gonna come in here and try his hardest. But he is versus elo isn't everything. Come on, he is versus a pretty good mid laner in Babs, who's a diamond five, I think. And he carried a match for uh. The leftover lads earlier in the season. Now he's on Guardians of the Rift. Hmm. So I think he's like he's decent. He's decent enough. Is him going from leftover lads to Guardians of the Rift? Is that like our LeBron leaving Cleveland to go to LA? Nah. He wasn't like <laughs> he wasn't like the best mid in the league, but that would be like if. Who is the best? Who's the best peacup player ever? All right, best Charlie Smells. What yeah. if Charlie Smells goes from Yeet Street to IRL? Woo! That would be that would be LeBron. I don't think that would be a fair comparison though, because like LeBron going to LA, I'm trying to get off track, but you know, y'all can see bands, y'all have hey, man, eyes. Basketball, but basketball is the the goat. Yeah. But like LeBron going to LA, he ain't gonna win a ring. He's going there for his son and to get fucking or get freaking paid. Excuse me. <laughs> and Sejuani. Sejuani wasn't paying him. Sejuani gonna slip through the cracks. Nova Typhoon. But gonna Zach get is open. <laughs> to that bristle board. But why would I do that when I should come on? Maybe they have a team comp built for Sejuani. Zach is his champion and it lets it open. I'm I'm that was dumbfounded. His champion when I left. I'm dumbfounded. It still is champion. And uh, maybe it's a flex pick. Maybe Sejuani goes somewhere else. Because, like, Nova Typhoon right now is sitting at a 26% win rate on Sejuani this season. Ooh, yikes. So, I mean, unless he's, like, playing on a whole new account. 
and like leveling that up and he's like popping off on Sejuani. I don't see how he would pick that first over Zach. So it's possible it's going to be a flex to like top lane or support or something. But uh, on the other side, you see Rakan Sivir pick. So that's a really strong lane. You don't like win lane with that. You just push and then let Rakan roam. And Sivir's going to be really safe. The Ash pick is pretty interesting. It'll be vulnerable to Rakan once he hits six. But before that, he'll be able to poke out these uh, the Rakan and Sivir with her with her volley. So, Crusader's looking to get a winning match up here. Yeah, that extra range Ash has. I want to see her pick some like and Trundle. So there's some flexes going on. There's some interesting. So <laughs> they don't want Zag. It's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna get past that. Let me actually make the point I want to make. I want to. I want to see them pick another long range support to go with Ash. So like you said, they can kind of abuse that. You know that poke and that bully and just try and keep Sivir down because once Sivir hits ganks between her and Rakan, they should be pretty safe from ganks unless this team layers the CC between Sijuani and uh, Ash properly when they're coming in because she'll just walk away. She'll get hit by one, Rakan can take the other, and then he can dash on out if they really have to. But honestly, this is a pretty safe bot lane from the red side. That can yeah, scale really if they well. can have like a third hard CC to, to combo with the Ash, in Sichuani, it'll be pretty hard for them to get away, even though Sivir has the spell shooting and Rakan is mobile. It'll still be a pretty hard gank to get away from. But uh, what Sivir's got going for her is that those skills are pretty telegraphed, so you, you can pretty much spell shield. You'll, you'll definitely spell shield one of them. And maybe we'll I see mean... like a Rakan take cleanse, and then he can block the other one. Our support still take an unsealed spell book? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's still a thing. Oh, that could be a possibility. Um, I don't know. I feel Sejuani ult is pretty easy to see because it's fairly sm low. Yeah, it's but super Ash ulti on the bottom lane. I've had some point blank those you know face Ash arrows that even though it's only I believe a second and a half at like face range, it's still a second and a half that you can't lose. <laughs> and that, that you is get true. Destroy. And uh, the Swain pick is a good a good champion right now. It's a flexible mm -hmm. champ. It can go mid or top. Or bot, but there's the Sivir, so you're not really going to expect that. Are they going to really take the Zack away? Nah. Yes? No? No. Zin Shao uh -huh. is just like the best champion. Zin Shao is like the best jungler in the game, I would say. At this current moment. I think he's just like nuts. Just, you cannot compete with his dueling early game. I don't, I haven't seen enough Zin Shao's because I always see him get banned, so. My, yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit. Very frequently banned, and then uh, he has strong early dueling, and then he also just uh... oh, they're going five Freljord champions. What is oh, this troll? Oh, they can't oh troll my us. god, no. we're getting trolled. We're about to have that like mini synergy that all the Freljord. Where's the Brom? Flying Frost. That Brom? Oh. No, where? Wait, why Warwick? Is what? Warwick from Freljord? Mm, it's on. Man, they're trolling and they're trolling over the troll. So, okay, so actually, so now let's try and put what the hell's going on here. It looks like it's going to be Lissandra mid, Trundle Nash by Warwick top. I think it's Trundle Sejuani by with Trundle top. Or uh, Ash, Ash Sejuani by with the Trundle top and Warwick jungle Lissandra mid. I mean, it's I'm not a bad to comp. It's it, it's really weird though. I guess we'll see at twenty. I guess Bucaders are at the point where they don't care anymore. <laughs> they're a zero and six. And now they have a substitute mid laner for the second time. They actually they had a mid lane computer issue in the series versus Bad Boys too, and they actually won a game. Wait, let me. Did they win a game? I forget. I don't know, dude. You're, you're the guy yeah, they that, took a so. game off the bad boys. And they Wee. they could have possibly won that series with a, their starting mid. But again, he's having issues. And they have a substitute. So they're probably just done though at this point. But they're going to have a fun comp. They're going to have some cool interactions. A lot of hard CC. Yeah. We, didn't even, we didn't even mention it because we were trying to figure out what the hell was going on with their team comp. But 
we were talking about Silver was pretty safe and they need like another hard TC. So they brought in the Warwick and <laughs> then Warwick and Red Team was like, you know what? We're gonna we're just gonna lock in a Shen. And now Silver should be pretty unfuck withable at this point in terms of uh if that Shen has any sort of map winner, she should be pretty safe throughout all these team fights between spell shield, Rakan running in front of her to block stuff, quickness, yeah. and then the Shen LT. And let's see what the Busaders can do with this comp because it, it looks to me like the uh, Guardians of the Rift just have a better composition in every way. But uh, if Nova Typhoon, you know, he's known for Warwick too. Like when Warwick is one of his champions. But uh, if he can do something with this Warwick here in the early game, Zin Shao eventually won't be able to deal with a Warwick. Warwick will just like walk up to him and say, you're mine, you're, you're my flesh, and just chop him up. That's a good point. Zin Zhao, Warwick scales really hard for, you know, compared to most of the junglers that we're seeing pop up in the meta right now. We're seeing a lot of these junglers that just kind of want to take over the game early, like Zin Zhao and uh, Nocturne. But Warwick, he's not, he's not necessarily weak early, but the scaling that he has over Zin Zhao, I really want to see how Zin Zhao decides he wants to play this war early game and how his team wants to coordinate around it. Because Warwick, Warwick doesn't really have any escapes either. If, like, Zin Zhao goes into his jungle and makes a decision to fight Warwick, Warwick's, yeah. like, Warwick's just going to have to flash or hope his team can rotate around to come help him. Yeah, Zin Shao's going to definitely look for some super early aggression just because uh, if he gets the jump on Warwick, he, Warwick won't stand a chance. Levels like 1 through 4. Once you get to like high level, like like mid-delay games, like Warwick can't, Warwick can't be touched by Zin Zhao. No. Warwick's going to be running your team down, and he's going to be jumping from like halfway halfway across the lane to jump back onto somebody but the question is how is he going to get through because even just how this team fight plays out too for them like Silver's pretty much going to be in the back line by herself and she's going to have three or four people in the middle of the fight or on you know the enemy team's back line just like pushing through and there's going to have a really hard time actually hitting any of these skill shots because they don't really have any point and click CC besides the Lissandra ulti to get on top of Silver. Yeah, they're definitely, uh, Boosters are definitely going to want to have, like, a run, like, a approach to the game where they just want to run over team fights because the Ash is going to have, like, no peel. This Ash is going to, like, just get completely run over by the Swain, Rakan, Zin Zhao with the Sivir LP on them. So they're going to want to make the first plays because they do have a lot of CC. But if they get run over by Guardians, they'll just, like, not have any damage at all. Trundle. Trundle will also have, we will have that subjugate though when it comes to team fights. Trundle wanted to take away some resistance from the Shen, so maybe make him a little bit more susceptible to getting blown up during these team fights can be something that I want to see them take advantage of. Yeah, and Trundle's early uh, dueling is not bad, especially versus Rakan. Pilder can like lock him in. Not at all. As we finally get into our lovely loading screen, looking across at these skins. Wait, Trundle, you. Come on now, they're just making they're actually trolling. They're not even gonna you they're not even gonna leave Trundle do you know one of his icy skins. They're gonna have him in constable. Like they just they don't care. Aftershock? Question mark. I wasn't even <laughs> Wait. Okay, yeah, my eyes are really messed up. I thought that was guarding. Okay, so Aftershock Trundle. I can see it working for like the early game when you guys are, you know starting off close enough to each other but i feel like as fights go on by the time if you get your even if you do get the pillar on somebody i feel like you can't close the gap quick enough to have the aftershock proc actually be worth anything i feel like maybe in the laning phase with how the fights will play out especially for if, if the other team wants <laughs> to be the aggressor on you you can peel with the pillar and then you can get that big boost of armor and mr to help yourself with your getaway yeah Besides that it's like what's going on here i'd be interested in seeing too like trundle just walking up hits that pillar, gets that little knock-up, and then he'll have the aftershock, and then he'll just wail on whoever's stuck on the pillar. Because Trundle's base damage is pretty high. It is indeed. Then we're in game, boys. What oh, we gotta change the thing? overlay. We do. There we go. We in it. So everybody takes their way onto the rift, and if you've joined us, if you've joined us since we last introduced ourselves, I want to welcome you. My name's Manny or Sunny with the Propsy Cup. And joining me tonight is none other than Traver, 
Travis Gatford Crank himself, T Crank, as we bring you a match between uh, Guardians of the Guardians of the League and the Bussaders taking <laughs> on to the Rift. And already right now, we see the Bussaders going for an invade as they walk right onto a lovely Red Ward. And they're quickly going to turn tail and walk back into their own jungle. But by seeing all five of them on that ward, that's going to give Guardians the go ahead to go drop some wards in on the uh, opposing team and get their early vision down. Oh, look at Babs behind them. They're looking for something. Behind. 4v3, though. 4v3, numbers not exactly in their favor. Probably just going to see Shen starting taunt. Uh, not the best decision right there. But he, and nonetheless, they're all just going to throw a little dagger and Sichuan to take a little bit of damage. But besides that, pretty simple early game. I'm surprised they didn't just go for that Swain who had, who was basically behind the enemy lines there. He just got to walk out and recall. <laughs> They did force the Shen taunt though, so that'll hurt uh, Shen's laning phase versus the Sejuani, just a tad. Yeah, but I mean, that's just level one. Sejuani can't really, you know, can't really do too much with that level one. She needs, you know, her abilities combination with the permafrost. So we should be fine, make it away with that. Another key that we didn't look at earlier was the uh, Glacial Augment on the Warwick. So he's going for, he's he is a little frosty. <laughs> That's how he. That's how he gets it in right there. I guess. How? What the hell did I come back to League of Legends to, man? Like this. This isn't normal stuff, right? This is just no. proxy cup being proxy cup. This is not normal at all. At, at least uh, the Bussaders, what they're doing is not normal at all. But what the uh, Guardians of the Rift have is a pretty solid team comp. And the, the Shen's been played pretty pop. Uh, pretty. The Shen's been getting more popular as Worlds goes on. Uh, Zin Xiao has been like the best jungler at Worlds. Sivir's been rising up in popularity. And Rakan's always been that amazing engage that you want. Of course. Lissandra, uh, we didn't even mention her, but she also has uh, she also has the whatever that mastery is called. The exploding green. Yeah, the that, uh, Shadow has. Yeah, Aftershock, she's been getting seen, seen a lot of play at Worlds as well. Uh, which is kind of surprising because typically she's known as like a potato champion, but oh, fight going on. Uh oh, getting caught trying to go for the uh -huh. invade. Flash on the wall, we were going to fear him Ooh. back. Trundle picking up the kill <laughs> right there with that ignite. And now the troll has found himself first blood, a red buff, and some gold for Zadie Carry and Jungler right there. So Zin Zhao getting caught a little too aggressive. Going for that three buff, not working out for him. The Ash and the Warwick flash, but Trundle gets the kill of the ignite, baby. <laughs> oh, no, Trundle didn't flash. No, 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 I see, yeah, yeah, I'm saying Ash and Warwick Flash, but Trundle got the uh, kill with his yeah. with his other spell. <laughs> yeah, Trundle able to get that away as Warwick flashed over. Warwick flashing over, e even if he did have the Ignite, he got, he feared him back into the pit. So, and yeah. they woke up the dragon. So the dragon probably would have blew its breath on his engine and he would have died. Yeah, this is how was toast. And that was good communication by the Bussaders to call that invade and punish him for it. Did they have a ward, or did they just have, you know, the, the awareness that he was going to go for that? Uh, it must have been a ward, or... It must have been a ward in the jungle, or, like, he walked over a ward in the river. One of those. Replay booth, show us that back right quick. We'll, uh, we'll have them get back to us from upstairs in New York. <laughs> going back to this game, top lane, a little bit, uh, little bit scrappy. He's wanting to be enforced back on a recall fairly early, level before. Shen still staying healthy thanks to having the, uh, grasp of the Undying. That is one of the advantages that Mastery gives you. You can trade no problem back and forth when you're uh, against your other melee top laner. You continue to come out ahead on these trades. Combine that with the healing that he has in his kit. Sejuani isn't really in the best shape to be scrapping back and forth with him. She's more so looking for these team fights to have 200,000 armor. <laughs> yeah, this team will be really beefy once they get into fights. With the Lissandra and Trundle with Aftershock and then Warwick and uh, Sejuani who are very, very tanky innately. But yeah, I went to the replay, and uh, there was a ward on the red buff that was spotted as Zinzo. Oh, okay. Nonetheless, good vision, you know, wins games. Place a ward, save a life, or take a life, depending on... <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make that a place a ward foundation. Should, where we should, have a bunch of kids. <laughs> so should it say, place a ward, save a life, or place a ward... Have the lives be in your favor? How does it work? I don't know. I'm going to have to get with some uh, creative designers and work on that. <laughs> but we're going to make it for uh, terminally low ELO. Like I'm talking about like 100 to 200 ELO bronze players. And uh, 
place award save life. That's the campaign. We're wait, just getting out of there as Zin Zhao uh, is going for that aggressive jungling. So despite getting killed, he's still on the hunt, which I think is pretty, actually a pretty good thing. I see a lot of people, junglers, they'll die once. And you know they'll get discouraged from how they're supposed to play the game like people let death make them uncomfortable and stop playing how they're supposed <laughs> to be playing when it doesn't need to like zin Jia is still the jungler who has the advantage and his goal is still to try and beat down warwick as much as he can so looking for some more blood on the other side of the river is definitely a good idea yeah he does know that he will win 1v1s at this point so he and, he and he knows that Warwick had to recall or be on the other side of the map, so he is uh, he was able to go ahead and steal those camps, which he is up three or four camps right now. Despite what happened to him, so still doing a good job keeping the heads in. Jao though just has a faster clear and compared to Warwick in terms of how he deals with camps. That's yeah. Definitely plus for him. Warwick's clear is safer, but Zin Zhao clears a little faster. I'm not no, I'm not a jungle expert, but I think that's how it works. It, 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 right, Warwick's, Warwick's one of those champions. That's the one thing I like when they remade him. They still made him that like easy, like the learning how to jungle jungler. Yeah, it's like him Nunu and Nunu. Pushed, like, well, Nunu isn't really as simple anymore. Like, oh, really? Ball, yeah, it's true. He just has to consume still, so. Consume. Yeah, it's Q. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I was agreeing with you. Warwick, the one thing about him is honestly, you can get away with maxing any of his abilities and you still should not die in the jungle like that. <laughs> E makes you more tanky against the camps and gives you, you know, the bigger damage reduction. W lets you gank easier. Q makes it just so you heal more. So, like a level 8, if he's being like forced to jungle because he's like, oh, I have this new spell, Smite, I want to try it. It works out great. And even at the higher levels, like there's a lot of depth that goes in, you know, learning how to play Warwick with that Q mechanic and latching on to people and knowing the proper range to activate W to get the speed and jump onto people. He's a it's one of the better redesigns they did, but nonetheless, speaking about redesigns, Xin Zhao's about to redefine jungling as he gets himself <laughs> onto this red buff pretty early. Warwick just kind of doesn't seem to know this going on. Trundle has an idea, and he's uh, taking a peek on down, throws the traffic cone over the wall, but Clout Dragon's going to end up going to the red team, I right? think. Xin Zhao was looking mid, but wasn't able to get to Lissandra in time, and Warwick, he's getting invaded, though. He is, uh... Then Jow in here again, but the team gonna be coming over. Rakan getting cut off by Trundle. They're gonna use the ulti down Lissandra. Now we're gonna jump on double layer CC. Gonna pack him with the ulti, knock him away. He's gonna look to go in on Lissandra. She flashes away into this fight route. Now, now Shen's gonna use the ulti to come in. We have a little skirmish going on in the jungle, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We're gonna be the first one going down to Zin Zhao. Now Ash is getting herself in this fight. Swain has popped the ulti and going around. Zipper says, just group and run, but she got here a little bit late. And now the red blue team doing all the running. Swain flashing over the jungle. Gonna pick a chill up, and he's looking to get himself even more blood. The Nazi and Overlord caught in the middle of a rock and a hard place, but he's gonna get chomped into by Trundle. And that's gonna be somebody going down, some little retrofuse, a turnaround, and a two for one fight in favor of the blue team. That looks good at first for the Guardians, but the uh, Zin Shao ulti wore off, Shen ulti shield came down. Shen didn't actually get to teleport because uh, Sejuani stopped him. So he didn't get the assist that he needed. And in the end, it was a Bussader's victory, a two for one. Hmm. Okay, actually, he's going in right here. Sejuani's just, wow, she's going <laughs> to end up killing as soon as he comes back to lane. She's going to take back to lane, and he's going to disrespect her and get pooped on. He bought the Sheen. That was a lot of damage coming out from the Sejuani. Uh, Frozen Gauntlet might be in the works here for this, uh, the, the Boar Rider. So, is he doing that, like, AP? Is he going for that, like, tanky caster Sejuani kind of build, it looks like? Wait, he's he going, going for Triforce. Triforce, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm ready. I'm ready to see a Triforce Sejuani just clap the living cheeks out of Shen. I only, my only concern with that is they're gonna lose fights for like the first. They're gonna lose any fight they have until like 30 minutes because I feel like they kind of do need a tank. Kind of an important thing. Although Zin Zhao is behind, so that's kind of that was supposed to be their main early game damage. To me, that's why Sejuani feeling like she can get away with this. Yeah, they're definitely trying out new things here in this match. Zero and sixteen looking for a new life. Zero and sixteen? No, zero and six team. Well, they said zero and sixteen. I was like, wait, I didn't know he had that many games on the schedule. 
The Cleveland Browns, man. Wait, come on. You can't forget <laughs> about the OGs, the Detroit Lions. Oh, yeah. Miami Dolphins almost did it. Miami, 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 uh, oh, Miami Dolphins are also the only team that was 16 0. And they're about to go in on Sejuani right here. Fug Nuggler running the other way into the enemy jungle. Almost set, giving up his life right here. Gonna try and Arctic Assault over the wall. Gonna hit the Blasting Cone. Take herself back over. And she <laughs> might be the boar who lived, it looks like. Gonna make this getaway, surprisingly. Shen really... Shen and Xin Zhao really stingy with that flash. They definitely could have killed her if they went for the flash afterwards with her. But gonna let her make it out fairly easy with just a Blasting Cone. Yeah, they weren't quite on the same page right there. And uh, that allows us wanting to have a pretty good escape. Even though, uh, even though you know they were greedy with their flashes, that was a pretty sweet escape from Fug. Definitely nice from him knowing how to play that go, go the far way around. I thought he was going for you know that you know how when you're you're like I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna leave them as far away from them every, anything else as possible type thing. Yeah, and uh oh, Lissandra. She Being makes it out finished. barely with that grab. Yeah, they're, she's gonna catch them trying to do this swing, gonna bring that ass here, boy. Catch her. Shen gonna jump on it, she's gonna pop the W coming in. Sejuani trying to cause a stumble oh. up here. Rip Carol gonna go down, Shen ulting on the Zin Zhao, keeping it alive. And now Warwick goes in, gets the ulti, gonna take down Zin Zhao. Getting pulled in, they need to pick a focus. The tank may not be that, but they're still gonna burst him down anyway. Trundle absolutely eating into Sivir on the bottom side of the map. And now the blue team's counting for their lives up in this Rip Herald pit. Four for three, <laughs> going all over the map. Trundle with the double kill on the bottom lane. Revenging, revenge for his AD carry. All in all, ends up being a three for four across the map. But we're going to have to do a replay and look at what just happened Run, on the Liz. bottom side. Run, Liz. Run. going to get that execute too. So pretty good for her. But what did Trundle just do? I'm going to watch this back. Trundle got a double kill. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's 4 0 and 1. He just have. So while that fight went on up there, so Trundle used Pillar, they went in, the, the quickness got popped, knocked up, and they put a lot of damage on the ass. And both supports basically just chased down the other AD carry. <laughs> and yeah. since Trundle had the subjugate heal on him, he was able to. Uh, yes, and. Okay, so tr they both supports chased down the other AD carries. Trundle was able to kill off Sivir quicker. Then At, then uh, Wakan was able to kill off Ash. So Trundle was able to quickly kill Sivir and then come back. And Ash was still fighting for her life against Rakan because Rakan just doesn't have as much damage as Trundle does. And uh. Trundle Wait, I missed more to... kills. What happened? Wait, Wait what no. Never mind, never mind. It was just being weird. But okay, we're at 13 12 right now. 13 13. And uh. Yeah, 8 to 4, or so. Crusaders are looking alright here with this this mid lane e sub. So I said this is some of the worst League of Legends I've ever seen played. Wait, come on, <laughs> man. You can't be like that. I know, yeah, more I mean, top ganks. <laughs> more top ganks. Just gonna uh, see people get pounded into, trying to bob and weave out the way. Actually got the tower taking a lot of damage, but at the end of the day, Ooh. it's not enough damage. Ooh, that, yeah, that last tower shot could've did it. CC chain. Oh, three and three. Well played from, from these fellows. Getting all their CC together in one combo. Look at this guy just walk up and kill him. Shen now 0 3 and 3. Xin Zhao trying to work his way into here. Go on to Sichuan. He has the on the way ping coming. They're pinging it out. They seem to have an idea, but and Xin Zhao looks like he's just going to back off. I think he didn't think they would actually recall under the tower. Pretty sure Trump looking just 1v2 of them in the bottom lane right now. With the Zeke's at 14 minutes. This guy is massive. Oh yeah, Ash ults on to somebody. They're, they're going in. Yeah, no, here comes Purple God. Zipping on the perp. Coming in from behind right here. Oh, I'm gonna surprise. Up, take some tower shots, but that's really Purple God just there to scare them off. They're gonna make the tower trade initiation. Uh, Shelly, it looks like she's gonna get mid tower, oh. and Zipper's gonna walk up into the Sandra range only, and they're just gonna get a real quick two for zero. The Frailty Lord sisters going with their ultis onto opposing targets, able to clean that up. So I'm gonna walk him back to the tower, gonna take a couple shots. She uh -oh. might actually go down to Swain, she is. <laughs> Bad on a killing spree. Not Here comes really Shen. Shen is old. She's gonna get that kill. Ash bringing that ass here, boy. As Shen, or excuse me, as she gets pulled back in right here. Now they're going to Zin Zhao. Ulti coming in from Shen. Warwick gonna fight till his dying breath, gonna slide through with the bite. Nova Typhoon is slain by a magic toenail. Here we go. Trundle looking to be the big bully right here. Put his pillar in his cone in any which way he can. Shizwani gonna flash on top of Zinjao. He's gonna knock her up and flash away. With his blue suede shoes, gonna make all the moves he needs to make.
Sharko getting one last little bite of the sample, but that's only gonna take him to his death right there. Shizrani trying to arc this all the way to safety. She's ignited. She's gonna flash forward with the Ooh. taunt. Shen pulling that clean as Colleen move off. And, and somehow Ash back. died. I'm not even gonna try and figure out what's but yeah, that was a bad, bad turn from the Boosaders. That This is what happens in Boosaders games. And uh, right now, this Swain is way too far ahead to deal with for anybody, especially this Ash. This Ash can't do anything right now to this to that champion. And uh, yeah, Boosaders just had to back off, take, take their victory. But in the end, they get aced for that. More fights, oh, though. And Shen being greedy. Yeah, go down. Glacial Augment slowed him for so much right there, but uh-oh. They don't see the rest of the team from behind. Well, we're going real deep right here. He's getting thirsty. He has an idea in his mind. He's going to go for Typhic. It's not about the kill. It's about sending the message. He's 100% going to die <laughs> right here. Oh, man. But he's now established that he's willing to give up a freaking... Uh, <laughs> he has established down. who the alpha male is in the relationship. <laughs> it is indeed Warwick, not this stupid uh, warrior man. It but is Bill Sasan getting knocked off, trying to claw out, but she ends up getting uh, taunted right there. She has to use the ulti onto herself, and now she's going to go down bad as dominating. This man is on fire, 7-1-4, and four, looking to be the carry for his team going into the rest of this game. He came out pretty big on that uh, that ace that his team was able to get earlier, going back yeah. and dying. He is sitting fat as heck. It's the Bab show right now in this game. It's going to be off to him to come back, and they're oh, actually excited. up a, they're up 1,000 gold now, so... Rakan, they both get, they might both make it out the shield, he's gonna throw the claw out, they're splitting separate ways, Ash and oh. Arrow, they're gonna pop the plant. Oh, here comes Sage. That looks like he's trying to get himself the suicide, but Trundle, there's gonna be not Trundle, Sejuani <laughs> gets the fadeaway ulti right there, Kobe. shut down. Kobe! Kobe! <laughs> the good days. Throwing that prison out. I'm surprised he didn't give it to Warwick, because uh, Warwick getting fed versus that team, I feel like Warwick is gonna be a devastating force. Warwick kind of, Warwick kind of likes to feed in some of these uh, the ways he's died. Down the bottom lane, just smacking back and forth. Shen, Big Daddy, with all that damage he's got. Sejuani's running for her life. He's gonna decide he wants to spare her today, and yeah, he's just gonna let her recall. Sejuani's like team loses Sejuani does not have enough health to deal with this Shen right now with his uh, blade pass through. Once, once a call. Oh, no, I think he's too. dead. Nah, he's good. But yeah, the Shen build right now much more adept at dueling. Shen will have a lot more sustain. Sejuani has no sustain, doesn't have any extra health. So, Shen definitely wins these. Gotta give her some time. Gotta give some Ash some time too, honestly. Ash with the uh -oh. board right now is not in the best state. And uh, Sejuani gonna get caught, help, caught, <laughs> or cut off by Shen, they're gonna look to collapse in on her for something while the other three members of the team Run are in fact dragon. Red team is gonna slay the second cloud dragon and now here we go, she's gonna get taunted up. A shit, a shit, a swain claw. I wanna yeah. say swain and Shen, that is so annoying. A Shane. Yeah, Shane Dawson. That's <laughs> YouTube Renee. Right oh, here we QSS. Go. Going over the wall. QSS coming in handy for the fellow Sin Zhao. Ash getting brought back in right there, bad. Lane bounce the bus. Here we go. Looks like we're gonna see Lasagna going down too. That aftershock can't help her with much more spectacular getting the kill on the purple god. Now we have the red team ravishing their way through the jungle. Looking to rotate down onto this bottom inner tower and bust this map open even more than they already have. Yeah, I feel like this is the moment where the uh, Boosaders are gonna just start crumbling down. They they had the game in their in the bag, I'm pretty sure, but that overextending that one fight in the bottom lane. Giving Swain all of those kills, already in a uh, at disadvantage in your mid lane, just makes it impossible to play with this fed Swain versus all these bruisers. He's got Luden's Echo. This guy is massive. But here's an interesting thing. I feel like I can see it. Just I, I'm, I can think. I this is what I'm noticing. I can I don't know because I I can notice the depressive play up. That's the lack of a better term. They're playing like they're a lot further behind than they are. They're only down, well, they're let down less than 2,000 gold. They're even in kills, but the way the map is set up and the way a lot of these fights have been going with them losing the advantage they had, they probably feel like they're down a lot further gold. They're still definitely in this game, 
and they're still definitely in on this vintage Al. Swain gonna try oh. to do his best to help them. Nice little W for Lissandra. Ooh. Team right there, going a little too aggressive under that tower. Everybody jumping in every which direction they can to get away. And now that they've burned a lot of abilities, playing in a flash forward, pull her back with the call. Uh -oh. This is going to be the next sacrifice. Here we go. They're going on to Ash. It's Lonnie using the Arctic Assault to try and save her dear AD carry. Ash hitting that W on the way out. Bali just trying to slow people. Rakan hits the Q. Ruin with flash over the wall. Everybody rushing for their dear lives. And Swain is Run. a madman chasing through the tower. There's Lonnie going in with this Arctic Assault. Oh. Able to get the kill. And it looks like he might be able to get this double right here. Walking through the minions, gonna throw one last little Q out, and it's not gonna land. So Shishwani will survive another day, but we cannot say the same for the Frailiority of the Sisters. I would not. I would not want to be PP poor right now on that Ash. <clears throat> not at all, no. And as soon as I start to say, you know what, they can still get into this game, they're down less than 2,000, they go and make. They make a way too over aggressive play right there. Gonna result. And then falling further behind. Warwick continuing with the aggression. Looks like he might be able to get a kill on the slain actually get that big shutdown and trundle no! taking it. And here we go, Rakan running through the team, getting the, the quickness, tolling people up, getting in tune. Magic toenail going down as well, and Warwick still hunting for blood. Ash sending the hawk eye forward. And they actually might just make this call for Baron, it looks like. This is definitely the call for Baron right now. Zen doesn't have ult or Zen does not have flash. The blast cone is down too, so this is their moment. This can even up the game if they can get this right here. Um, level 12 Warwick, level 12 Zinjao. Yeah. They 100% can get this. The Shen does have teleport up when he spawns. So they do have to worry about that. They also don't want Zin to get in range to use his dash to get into the pit. So they have to be careful. Here he comes. Here we go. The fight going to pop off right here. And they're going to take down Zinjao. Who going to turn man. for them to eliminate the target. Now they're going to go on to the Baron. Blue team has slain Baron Nasher. And that's how they do it. Now they're going to look for more. Zipper popping the ulti just so she can get away. And it looks like that's that for them. And the going is now Vidal. Yeah, and Baron buff for Crusaders is really, really nice. They won't exactly have the best siege or the best sideline push. But damn it, they're, they have the Baron now. <laughs> they did not let the, uh, let the Guardians of the Rift have it. So they're feeling no, pretty I... good with that extra gold in their pockets. But this Trundle right now is 6, 1, and 5. He just took, uh, he got like an 8 shutdown kill on the Swain. Would have been nice to see Warwick have that, but this Trundle has so much gold now. 7, D600. He has uh, more than his mid laner. And almost as much as his top laner. Honestly, I feel like you just keep putting your... The farm. I'm not gonna get in it. Honestly, I feel like that's not even a. I feel, while it is a problem, you probably want to let that get to the mid or the AD carry. But if Trundle's the one that's making the difference in these fights with the subject, I feel like you, honestly, you just keep putting the eggs in that basket, right? Like, when does he just buy put all your eggs in that basket? As long as he buys, you know, useful items for the team <laughs> or things that make him tankier. Fuck it. I want to see a Titanic Hydra. That's where you fully just tell your AD carry, be like, Noah Ash, you yeah. buy a Zeke's Convergence. You the buy a Sightstone. The Ash right now just doesn't, won't, won't there's not an appeal, so. I want to see, I want to see Trundle pop off and just be another bruiser damage threat. Level 12? Like, he's, he's, he's fed right now. He's level 12 on a support. Oh, yeah, it's the sure same level as Zin's shout. Trundle could beat Zin's down in 1v1. And here might they be able go. To beat this whole team as they send in the CC layer. Gonna have the cleanse getting popped, and now we're con. Pop the quickness. Uh -oh. Those are a little too early, but now everybody getting caught in a uh -oh. hodgepodge. Everybody all over the place, but Trundle's all over the back line. Ash is <laughs> able to herself out of this. Ash. He's relatively healthy. Here we go. So Juani going around, and now we have Ash, the slain on top of her, trying to group out and lead. Uh -oh. Doesn't work. Blue team a little overzealous in this fight, fighting off more than they could chew, and Trundle may have led his team to their demise, just like he led his people. An uh, ace right there with only Rakan going down. Swain leading the way now with this double buff, and that is the Baron buff gone. And that's a, at least a main inhibitor. That might honestly be a ne Nexus turret if they want it too. Once you bait the Swain from using Cleanse and Shen ult, you need to back away immediately or else Swain will just run over your entire team. And that's exactly what happened. He got a Quadra kill. He got four out of those five kills. Ash was able to do some good damage, but... There's just not enough. There's not enough peel. There's not enough anything for this Crusaders comp. Now they ha the only thing they have to, to play around now is the fact that Swain doesn't have cleanse or a Shen ulti. Uh, 
Oh my goodness, this is so unfortunate. Warwick's sitting here like he wants to steal this, but Shin just gonna body block him. Honestly, they can just pull it out too. He's yeah, got the works. ultimate. They're he gonna go the for this. Ultimate. They're gonna go for it. Here they go. They're gonna go anyway. First, you know what to see. Riot, try again. Here we go. Looking for another fight. We're gonna have Swain come Swain. in from the side angle. Ash gonna have to flash away for a dear life. They've already lost two members of the team, but Swain's still gonna do some big numbers. Flashing through the Ash Arrow. Gonna absolutely ravish this woman's life since Ronnie came and finished him off. Harry Potter, the boy who lives. Oh, like, Purple God. Zimmer in the middle of the team, Purple's gone, flashing over the back line. He's the aggressor, they're looking for the Zim Zhao, they're taking way Woo! more chomp out of him, Nova Typhoon. And now they're looking for Sivra, she makes her retreat. Where are we gonna have that blood lust on his tongue? He's, He's coming! down to Sivra. She's He's gonna coming. run, but you know it's coming. He's going <laughs> into the tower. Can she outplay it with the spell she She might be able to, but it doesn't matter, he's way too hungry. That's a nice little chomp. Ace for the blue team. And this game is all over the place. The Boosader is just pulling your heartstrings over and over again. This is like just a, a tale of two teams going at it back and forth. Trying so hard. Babs had a super good flash, but it just didn't work out. He uh, didn't have enough front line or members around him to actually survive the fight. And, oh my goodness. This is, going, this is just a madness game right now. Pretty sure Trundle like, killed two people. Warwick is just slaying everybody. Ash has some MR now. He's got a little bit. But this guy's going for a death cap. He actually sold his Oblivion Orb on the Swain. No, never mind. He built a, built a Morello. Just kidding. But once this guy gets his death cap, it's going to be really rough. So I'll, I'll, let's, let's, let's just watch these fights and not expect anything. Because <laughs> we keep thinking one team has the advantage and then the other team comes back. And this game is so back and forth, dude. Like one team, has, the fact that one team has four times four towers more than the other team, and they still only have a thousand gold lead and can't end the game, speaks something. Speaks definitely speaks about these teams. Yeah, and I'll Ash, Ash is gonna shop. He's gonna get QSS. So he's got he's got the uh, executioner's <clears throat> calling. So I'll help with the healing. That the, basically everybody on that team has some healing. So he'll be able to shred if he gets uh, some backline, or rather, if, if he gets the free hit, he will. Uh, be really dealing some damage and shredding the health as well as reducing healing so swain now has a freaking rabadon's death cap oh he so just bought it. all right so they have to be super careful about this AP. Game. how much 657 that's uh oh lord how much is his, does his ultimate it does uh let's see His just, his uh, uh like, his demon flare his R press does 986 max damage. That's just normal. Yep. How you deal with life? And we're gonna see it right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is wanting to get pulled back in the fight, knocked back up by Rakan, and she took a lot of damage. She's got the abyssal helm now, so she'll be able to have uh, she'll be able to deal with this Wayne a little bit. However, nobody can truly deal with this guy at the moment. With that 700 AP. Sejuani can't deal with the Shen either, because Sejuani less sustain, less plane pushing power, not as good dueling, so. Shen can just sit there in the back line with the red buff too, so. Shen should look for a taunt here and get some trade, but he's not going to. Ward's getting set up. Red team looks like they want to be the aggressors. They want to try and take this Baron or force them out. And honestly, this is the play you go for when your Shen is, or when your gosh darn it, when your Swain is this <laughs> massive. You got Shen on the bottom side. Or this might be the master. The Death Bush. Here it comes. They're gonna go right there. The Death Corner knocking Ward without knocking into the team. He's gonna pop the E, but he's quickly gonna go down, shut down, go in the sever, and now we can honestly make this call and go back because there's no smite. Oh and my lord. And blue team can't really do anything. Lissandra got chunked so low she has to recall. And you're not going to try and stop this 3v5. That'd be suicide. Yeah, can't really go for anything right here. No smite. Trundle doesn't have a uh, smite because he's a support. Wait, they want support for people. They want to look for this, for this Shen though. They do have Ash ulti. Send it. And he gets it. I think he's just gonna walk away though. Swain's on the way down too. This is looking not too good. 
Right here in the jungle, getting caught out. Swain didn't take him a little low, but lol, he's Swain. He's not gonna die. Gonna oh, pick up some, three <laughs> what? To make them think they Wait. Can with him. And now here he comes rushing back in. Warwick's gonna come for him, but the nice talk from Shen, the S buddies keeping each other nice and safe. That's just Fighting one shot, Ash. Forth. Gonna have the redemption being brought in by Rakan. Taunt over the wall. And now flashing back, can't follow him. So there's money gonna die for even thinking she can get involved with this. Nice body block right there. Now they're gonna take down Warwick. Sivir coming in with the auto techs help solidify the kill. Double kill. And this is GG right here. Five members down. Three people come up in 10 seconds. The other ones have 30 plus seconds. They're just gonna clean up this base and kill these three people as they come out more than likely. Uh, Babs 1v9. Ladies Second nurse tucks it falls. Babs 1v9 indeed. They're gonna do their best they can right here, but just as we run through them, one little last attempt, one little last summer of fun, but they're gonna get the Nexus and not even give them the chance for redemption. Game one going to the Guardians right there. In 31 minutes and 22 seconds. I gotta go back and see that Swain, because he literally blew up three people. So I'm just give some, here. Don't give worry. some people ideas of final gold totals. Um, Swain had 17,000 gold. The next closest person on his team? Let's see this, Swain. Was Swain was sitting on four, almost 4,000 gold at the end of the game, 3,800. Um, he had about 18,000 gold in total. The next closest person on his team was Sivir with 12.7k. <laughs> and Goodbye. Closest person on the enemy team was